Cristiano Ronaldo potentially making a move back to Manchester. Only kidding, don't get your hopes up. But Louis van Gaal would love for this to happen. He has uh, came out verbally, not in any other way, but verbally and said... Charadingly. ...that uh, he would love to have Cristiano Ronaldo. He's the missing piece to the puzzle that is Manchester United's future. He is the creative genius that they would need in their team right now to rival Chelsea, to rival the rest of the world. Ronaldo is the man. It doesn't take a genius to know that Cristiano Ronaldo would fit into any team, but Van Gaal is definitely playing to the words that he's heard from Real Madrid's camp, and he's playing to the media in hopes that Cristiano Ronaldo starts to think like about a move this back. This year? Is this a this year no, thing? No way. Next year thing? Maybe. Interesting. I know this may dishearten you because you, 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 this might minimize your chances of seeing Cristiano Ronaldo in America. Well, it's, so here's the thing. If Ronaldo were to go to the Premier League, I think it's the best thing uh, for football overall. Now, every Real Madrid fan is about to probably get their, their torches ready, come to my apartment, and kill me. <laughs> I get that. Hala Madrid. Ah. Uh, but Premier League, again, most competitive league, top to bottom. Therefore, put all the best players there. All of them. Great theory. Ronaldo. <laughs> Great theory. I know. I know. I know. I would like to see it. I know. But Christian, right, so what Van Gaal has said is basically that they need creative spark in there. They need someone who, who can come into their team uh, and basically link up uh, the attack and be that player in the hole with Wayne Rooney. Offensive to Wayne Rooney. Forward. What? It's like no. offensive to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney's going to be a striker and he played very well with Ronaldo, I guess. He, sometimes he wasn't as prominent with Ronaldo on their team like everyone is. You can't be prominent when Ronaldo's there. He's the star of the show. The star hard. of the world. Star of the world. No so but the thing that. is, is it poses the question is, would Cristiano Ronaldo think about moving back to Manchester? And I have to say, I really don't know because it doesn't seem that he's completely happy with his life at Real Madrid. It's, there's reports coming out that he's not get, getting along with Rafa Benitez. And the same reports came out that Rafa Benitez says he doesn't give a shit if, 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 if Ronaldo cares. Literally he cares. said he didn't give a shit. No, he didn't say that literally, but he, uh, I'm paraphrasing that Rafa Benitez said it doesn't matter if Ronaldo was unhappy. Have like, you heard Rafa Benitez talk? No. He's not, his English isn't the best, but well, I'm, already I, thinking, yeah, actually, I'm already thinking of conference, that conference. He's like, Ronaldo says this, I don't give a shit. I would love to hear that. <laughs> is that your Van Gaal? Uh, kind of Van Gaal. Well, Van Gaal's like this. Uh, Ronaldo, we need him. He's creative. <laughs> he can make us best team in England. There you go. Van Gaal impression shit, son. Your Van Gaal impression. You're the uh, best team in England. <laughs> I make an ex exception for Ronaldo. He is a fantastic, fantastic player. But he knows that, that I like him. We should just do a full clip, Van Gaal. Talk Van Gaal. But uh, the thing is, Van Gaal is very Mourinho-esque with this. Is that he understands the power of the media. He knows that saying this is already going to have people talking about Ronaldo, asking him all these questions. And of course, Ronaldo's just not going to go, all right, well, I guess the press says that I'm going to fucking go. Pack my bags, love. Whoever his new girlfriend is, we're going to Manchester. Does he have a new one? Shitty Manchester, I don't know. No offence to Manchester people who live there, but it's not exactly Madrid, is it? But anyway, I think this could happen maybe after next year. I think Ronaldo's got unfinished business, and I said this on 120, is that he has got unfinished business. Not that he wants to win La Liga, yes he does. Not that he doesn't just want to win the Champions League, and yes he does. He wants to continue to prove himself better than but his counterpart. But he's in his prime now, so if two years he were to move, he's going to be exiting his prime. <laughs> Pirlo, yes, Pirlo, yes, party. Yeah. Uh, Pirlo is still dancing around in the. The thing about MLS. Ronaldo is, is that, that I do worry for this, is because he relies so much on his athletic capability that if he starts to lose slow that, down. that, starts to slow down, starts to use that, lose that one or two yards, maybe he would still yeah, be good. He'll still back, be headed, uh, still be good in the box. Cause oh, he might. would still be good as a. I would, I would either see him moving back or moving just completely forward and sitting as a sole striker. Either way, I think he would still be influential for Manchester United if he went there. But I, I can see Ronaldo playing like many to 36, 37 and still being a very competent player. But I would think it would be one year. One more year at Madrid. If he was to move to Manchester, it would have to be after that. But I guess this is not the only thing that's happening in Manchester. No. What's uh, happening with Luis Enrique? Luis Enrique, Barcelona's a bit of mind manager. Games, I, think. I love this. I think this is awesome. Luis Enrique said that Manchester United could win the treble this year. And you know what? I, that's crazy, Luis Enrique, because he didn't quote me when he said that. Because Jason said, in the third person now, Jason said Manchester United can win the Premier League, and of course, there's a bunch of commenters like he doesn't know anything about football. They can't win the. They can't win. No possible way. I think they can. That's just of not the treble. Not the treble. The thing is, I think. Well, I think that they can well, win the, thing the Premier is, League, and they did just beat yeah, Barcelona just, in, a in a friendly. friendly. 
the thing and is, be the San Jose Earthquakes. I think he means, I think we all know what he means, is that he means the Champions League, Premier League and the FA Cup, which would be fantastic for Manchester United. Man United fans have not seen this. pretty good goal to strive for. Yeah, of course it is. And There's it's anything in the trophy cabinet, because last year they could nothing. Yeah, they need, they need something in there. But even if you did give them the FA Cup, Manchester United fans are still, they've always been the, the tip of the iceberg. They expect the best of the best. And I think they have, they have the money to sign the best of the best. Well, of course they do. And they're, apparently they're still trying to add, I think Pedro is one of the uh, yeah. one of the pers persons what are, what are we talking about Barcelona's one of the Barcelona uh, yeah left Barcelona wingers? Pedro left wingers left might mids. be going to you can play striker you could play left wing I think he may be a direct replacement if Di Maria heads over to PSG which is just I think been, he is I mean, yeah it's Van Gaal said portrayed. he wants him to stay in a press conference of recent did you hear what he said but he before was them? MIA yeah and then he he was like they literally asked him, where's Di Maria? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go again with the Van Gaal. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't. The player decide. At the end, the player decide. He is. I don't he know. He should be here. So if there's a player of Di Maria's stature and you think he's going to feature on your team, you should know where he is. Do you think especially Van, for preseason. Do you think Van Gaal's ever smiled at a press conference? I think so. Yeah. But it went something like this. <laughs> a little shake. And to finish our uh, trifecta of discussion on Manchester United, we discussed Ronaldo, we discussed mm -hmm. uh, Luis Enrique's comment, and now we're going to finish and please our fans who freaked out that we did not document Manchester United's New Jersey, and thankfully Jason Rubin just drawing it out. Just drew it for you guys. So let's Ooh, take a look. Jason, wait, hold on, I'm not no, done. No, I'm not done. Me, I'm not, not done. Do uh, what's the sponsor? Uh, Chevy. Chevy. Go 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 go. <laughs> did you just write Chevy? Boom. You got the three, actually this isn't that far off. If this was a diagram of it, you have the three stripes, white stripes over here, and then we have a Chevy sponsorship in the middle. Uh, it's an Adidas kit, so you can get your last Nike swoosh kits, like they're still in stores. Yeah. Uh, but the, well, I think mean, that's pretty good. I don't know, that's, by the way, that's the, the dove, that's the devil. <laughs> but, you know, I can't draw. Did you study art? Uh, I'm arts and crafts touring, <laughs> um, So, no, I did not study art. But. The kits did get leaked. Mm -hmm. One store in the United it was not those. One store in the United States actually started selling them. Oh really? Yeah, I was like, the, the Daily Mail had it, and then I think I, I. Here's the thing. Take my word for this. Searching the internet last night, I was on Reddit, and I found the store that sold it. Right, and then this morning, no more. So I think Manchester United probably called up. It had the official product of Manchester United on there. Everything. Interesting fact. I just asked you, so it's not like I just knew this. 1980s player Brian Robson. Yeah. It's partially based off that team's kit. Um, classy, kind of old school way. I don't like them that much. I think the ones last year are much better. I'm excited to see the Adidas. I like the so collar. I'm excited to see the Adidas. I, did, I do love Manchester United strips, but is it weird that when you were telling me about that store, I was just kind of imagining Van Gaal sending like his troops in Chevys <laughs> to go and shut down that store? We're here. Yeah, this is the store. <laughs> yeah, this is yes. the store. Yeah. I can Adidas, imagine Rudy Adidas store in New York City. Hey. Yep. What do you think you do? That's my Scouse accent. Your what? My Scouse accent. What's Scouse? Scouse is like Liverpool area, where Wayne Mooney's from. Oh. Steven Gerrard. Him. Did he go again? Is that how he really talks? Him. Uh, Scouse, like, like Jamie Carragher and Steven Gerrard always answer that question with that, that loud him when there's someone asks them a question. Him. Steven, what do you think of your chances at the LA Galaxy? Him. Yeah, well that's like when you <laughs> talk to your parents, it's always, I. 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 Sound like that. I. But, Leave your thoughts about Manchester United. And yes, we like to cover Manchester United, but we like to cover all teams. So do not fuss over this. We will be talking about many other teams in terms of La Liga, Bundesliga, coming close to the season starting. But with Ronaldo potentially heading back to Manchester, why wouldn't we talk about it? Do you think this move will happen? Do you think that Van Gaal is right in his public appreciation of uh, the Portuguese player's talent? And do you think that Luis Enrique is right saying that Manchester United could win the treble? Let us know in the comment section below from Francis underscore Maxwell and Jason Rubin 91. Be sure to subscribe to TYT Sport. Bye.